Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna show you how I pack my Pelican when I travel for sound productions. Let's go. So this is the Pelican Air. This is the 1615 case. And this is what I typically travel with. All right, so we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> um, as we open it up, I used to have an organizer right there, but since um, the way that it's packed, I'm unable to use that organizer. It wouldn't close all the way. So I went ahead and just uh, took it off. It has the Velcro um, backside. And inside, um, you have an Orca bag. And this Orca bag um, keeps everything organized in here. I believe this is the bigger one. So it might be the, I believe it's the 68 or 69. Maybe we could find a tag um, somewhere around here. I know they have one on the side, but this is the um, one of the Orca hard bags. And it has... Uh, one, two, three dividers in there, and it has some pouches in here for some uh, extra stuff. I have uh, all my waist belts and uh, Ursa pockets in here. I have my surveillance. I have uh, one of the rain covers and additional um, rechargeable batteries for my time code boxes and uh, one of the label reels for my label maker. In here, I keep my uh, microphones, so I have the, the 185 in there. I have uh, a stick mic, just in case. Um, I have the right coat ball baseball cover for that uh, KM. Uh, this is my uh, the 416. And I got one of these little pouches uh, just to absorb any moisture. I got a few just like laying around in here. And I have a spare, uh, just an electro uh, receiver in there. So I'll put that back in there. Um, let's see what else. I got, uh, I have a couple of uh, harnesses, but this is going to be the most lightweight one right now that fits in this case. Um, I do have the, the heavy duty Orca one, but um, this one works well, so and it's light. Um, I have my power in the electrosonics pouch, all my charging needs, and that's actually, I was charging a little bit earlier, so there's a little bit more stuff that goes in it. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, lavalier stuff, anything that I would need on set. I carry that inside the sound bag with me wireless this is all my transmitters they're going to be in this bag and then as you can see here uh sd cards sd readers um some usb c cables uh i have, usually have more batteries with me but since i'm flying for uh for this particular uh voiceover session i really don't need that much with me so i have one two and three batteries with me one's in actually in the sound bag I have uh, two caddies of the 9 volts and then one caddy of the, the double A's. And then I got two Sony headphones for um, client IFB. And then I have, uh, this is one bag for all of my receiver antennas. And I got the antenna mounts. And I got some small little uh, little arms too for, uh, for the antenna um, the bow ties. These are my lavalier pouches. I use them. Uh, I use the Tentacle Seek bag, and this is going to be the B3s Countryman and the Sankin Class 11s. They're all in here. I have uh, the Expendables, um, similar to that uh, that other like uh, you know little tackle tackle case. But I keep this one with me because it has the the scissors and the, um, the Expo marker and stuff like that. Oh, and the tweaker. That's important. Time code, um, I keep a tentacle um, Velcro on my sound bag, um, but this is just, a, you know, additional cables um, and the two TIGs, the Mose Gear uh, time code boxes, which I like. Uh, just some more utility stuff, you know, some bongo ties and uh, some thread adapters for anything I need, maybe to mount, um, you know, the time time code or uh camera hops 
very important. Got the poncho just in case, because you never know. And then, you know, just some more Velcro and stuff like that. Um, additional ears. Uh, these are the, I think these are the, uh, the 400 series from Sure. And I got some uh, XLRs. Any kind of patching that I would need for uh, either for going into or coming out of the recorder. All right. So right now I am using for camera hops is the the DDs BPTRX. I was using um, the Sennheiser G3 G4s. Uh, I found these to become a little bit easier because all you got to do is just you know you just charge them up. Um, and you know, they're kind of, they're very versatile, time code out, they can record, um, you know, it's just scratch going into the camera. So it doesn't need to be, um, clean. And sometimes they don't even use that scratch audio. Most of the time they don't use that scratch audio, but if it's a sit down interview, um, I'll just XLR into the, uh, into the camera itself. But if it's like running gun, these are fine. They're okay. And yeah, so that's that um there's nothing on the bottom of this case i got uh my uh what is this? english sticks a little small slate i love that slate fits in my bag i got this uh phone mount um usually i keep it mounted on on my bag with my phone so i could uh use the wingman app And this arm, um, same company as that other one, Stage Ninja. I use this for my voiceovers, so I'll either um, clamp it onto the uh, the end of the the table or a desk. And um, yeah, this comes in handy. Let's see, um, windscreen, um, dead cat, you know, for the shotgun. I got a label maker for the slate and maybe for any kind of accessory bags I need a label. Uh, umbrella, of course, you need that. Uh, these are the Sennheisers. I think they're the 280s. Uh, I've been using these. Um, I love those headphones, they're comfortable. And I got a boom in here, fits perfectly. This one actually fits in the, uh, the 15 series Pelican too without the uh, the right code um, shock mount. This is the KE79CC. Planning on getting the uh, carbon fiber one. It would be much lighter, but I love this boom. That's the internal cable. And then I got my mixer. I believe this is the, the OR280 bag. I'm not going to open that up, but it uh, um, has the dust cover on there. Um, the, that's the Mix Pre 10T and then four, four 11s and then the BDS, uh, distro in there. I got an iPad, iPad mini. Um, I can use this for time code slate as well too, with the, the movie app and, uh, sometimes wingman app too, as well. And, uh, last but not least, I got a stinger for power and then just one XLR cable I have a coiled XLR cable that's uh, inside of that bag. Um, that's what I normally use. And yeah, that's it. So that's kind of a little tour of uh, like how I pack my, my Pelican. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching this video.